for introduction, Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy uh, or FDIR is a key analytical technique used to identify organic, polymeric, and some inorganic materials by analyzing how molecules absorb specific frequencies in infrared light. This ab absorption creates a unique spectral fingerprint which the Fourier transform converts into a core coherent spectrum for identifying fun functional group and molecular structure. <coughs> FTIR ability to quickly produce high resolution spectra with minimal sample preparation makes it invaluable in fields such as material science, chemistry, pharmacy, and environmental science. It provides crucial information on sample purity, composition, and molecular interaction, making is it is essential for both qualitative and quantitative analysis. In summary, FTIR is versatile, non-destructive method vital for identifying and characterizing various, various materials in modern analytic lab. For methodology, preparation of tissue sample. Tissue sample were prepared for FTIR analysis by crystallization to produce this slice B drying to remove water uh, second starting the spectrometer the FDIR was turned on IR solution was open and started the measure button was dig the measurement menu was selected and uh, analyzed was clicked uh, auto just was accepted by clicking OK. The system status was confirmed as OK when the status monitor should. should. Okay, the third, data uh, data excavation and processing, spectrum analysis, uh, anal analyzed for characteristic absorption peaks and compared with reference spectra to determine molecular makeup. Interpret result identifying bio biomechanical composition including fibers, binders, and adaptive. Uh, for print, click print form and uh, title and print the spectrum alter alternatively. Took a screenshot and print save. Save automatically save in the personal folder as a SMF format. Export the data via the file menu. Altern alternatively, took a screenshot, crop, and pin in pin. Okay, next uh, for the result, uh, this is our result and the discussion is the FTIR spectrum on page 1 shows prominent peaks at around 2920 cm uh, uh, powered by negative 1 and 2850 cm powered negative 1 indicating the presence of CH stretching vibration in the sample. Additionally, a peak at the uh, Approx nearly 1,735 cm power negative one suggests the presence of CO stretching vibration possibility indicating the presence of carbonyl carbonyl group in the sample. The absence of peak in the region of 3,000 3, to 3,500 cm power by negative one suggests at the absence of OH group in the sample. This is our next result. Uh, for the discussion, the FTIR spectrum on page 2 exhibits a strong peak at around 3400, indicative of OH stretching vibration, suggests the pre presence of alcohol or phenols in the sample. Peak at uh, approximately 2920 and 2850 cm correspond to C. H stretching vibration while a peak at 1730 cm suggests the presence of CO stretching vibration possibly from carbonyl group. This is our third result for discussion on page 3 of the FTIR spectrum display a sharp peak at around 1650 indicating the presence of CG uh, stretching vibration which may suggest the presence of aromatic compounds in the sample. Peaks at uh, approximately 2950 cm and 
2870 cm co correspond to CH stretching vibration while a peak at 1720 cm suggests the presence of CO stretching vibration. For our result number 4, uh, the FTIR spectrum on page 4 shows a strong peak at around 3300 cm indicative of negative OH stretching vibration suggesting the presence of alcohol or phenols in the sample. Peaks at uh, approximately 2950 cm and 2870 cm correspond to CH stretching vibration while a uh, peak at 1735 cm suggests the presence of CO stretching vibration. Alright, so we move to page 5. The FTIR uh, spectrum show a prominent peak at around um, 1700 cm, negative 1, indicating the presence of C equal, equals O, stretching vibration, which may suggest the presence of carbonyl groups such as ketones or aldehydes in the sample. Peaks at approximately 2915 cm, negative 1, and 2018, 2018 817 cm, negative 1 correspond to CH stretching vibration while the absence of peak in the region of 3000 to 3500 cm, negative 1 suggests the absence of negative OH groups, the presence of the uh, C equals O stretching vibration peak is a key feature suggesting the presence of, spe of specific functional groups in the sample. Next, the graph display the spectrum of the sample showing its transmission across different wave number. Major absorption peaks of the of the sample are, mac, are marked in red. Overlaid on the spectrum are color regions representing specific functional groups. There is aliphatic primary emits in purple, aliphatic high, high carbons in green, and primary aliphatic alcohols in blue. These overlaid regions help identify uh, the presence of specific functional groups by comparing the sample. Exception peaks with known exception range associated with these functional groups. Next slide, the spectrum of the sample show its transmission characteristic across various wave number. Highlight in the red, red are the major exception peaks of the test substance. Different color regions on the overlay uh, correspond to functional groups including purple for aromatic primary emits, green for aromatic hydrocarbons, um, and blue for primary um, aromatic alcohols. These overlapping regions assist in, the, in identifying the presence and <coughs> type of functioning groups in the sample by comparing its exception peaks with known exception range associated with these uh, functioning groups. So next, uh, the graph compare the spectra of the disposable facial tissue sample is red, cellophane is purple, and clulose is green. The tissue spectrum show absorption peaks corresponding to both uh, cellophane and clulose, indicating their presence. Below the spectra, a uh, table lists uh, compounds and their per mesh percentage, revealing that tissue is primarily composed of cellophane. That is, 66.79%. And clulose is 65.43%. Overlaying this uh, spectra helps identify the tissue molecule, molecular composition by matching peaks with known reference. Alright, the last one is the spectrum of tissue sample show T on the Y axis and wave number on the X axis, highlighting various molecular bonds. The broad peak at 2300 cm indicates OH uh, stretching. Identifying mustio uh, or colulus, the peak at uh, 2,900 cm correspond to CH stretching vibration suggesting colulus or other organic compounds. The peak at 1,615 cm represent the amount of proteins. Peaks in the fragrant print uh, region below 1,500 cm provide detailed information about the complex molecular structure of the tissue or potential additive and binders used in its processing. So in the conclusion, to sum up, Fourier Transform Infrared FTIR spectroscopy is a flexible method for determining a sample chemical makeup by studying how it interacts with infrared light. It is possible to get important details on the functional groups 
and chemical structure of the sample by forming it as a pellet and utilizing an FTIR spectrometer to record its spectrum. It is possible to identify certain bones and chemical vibration in the material by analyzing and the resulting spectra. FTIR spectro spectroscopy is a useful method to qualitative and quantitative investigation of a wide range of chemicals in many different domains, including chemistry, pharmacology, and material research. So, thank you.